Greetings, Sailor Rights. Anonymous here. I uh, wanted to bring up another uh, cool little move that we do in the Shicho Dulan right at the end, the, the, the closing bit, which we often get a lot of questions on. Um, and it's a sticking point for a lot of people who are trying to learn the Dulan. So uh, I wanted to go over it. Um, <clears throat> now, the part I'm talking about is after we finish this right here, we take the steps, we go here, we go around, boom. Now here, this is where we're going to be uh, looking at. From right here, we bring the saber back, up and over, and then we come down like this, so that we're, we're blocked like that. And then with just the arm, we're moving this across, okay? Now, what, what is really, really important is that this is like a Sarlacc sweep, okay? But we're only doing kind of like a limited number. We're going one and then two, and we're immediately going into here. We let go with this hand, right, as a kind of blocking motion here. One, two, okay? And then we're up here like this, okay? Now, the idea with this is that we're getting in really, really close and binding the other person up. But one thing that should be noted is this first motion here, like that. We want that to lead what's happening. So as this starts going here, we take our step, and then as it comes up, we're down like that, okay? A lot of people omit this bit. They'll either just turn it up like this, bring it over, Sometimes they'll just bring it over or they'll flip it back like this and go there. We need this, that little thing right there um, to help us get in. So again, I will have Ryan jump in here and help me out with this. Basic over the head strike. We'll start on this side using this motion here, okay? So this is the pair here. He's coming in towards my head. Good. I'm just bringing this up. It moves it over to the side, just right? The At that point, I'm taking my step in as I'm still here. And now this is where I'm going to either push his hands, right? Or, or block him in some way. So I'm going to bring this up over like this, and then I can step this way. And that strike just kind of opens itself up. Now if I change the timing just a little bit, and this is more difficult to do at full speed, but if I come up here like this, I can, if I <laughs> get over this way, and now do that one. But like I said, that's more difficult to do at full speed because you have to do a kind of stall in the middle there. Um, and more happens by accident. Okay, so that's, the, that's this side here. When I'm here, he comes in. And then there's that. Now, if I come up over the top, like in the form, I get this, right? I can come up over here, okay? But the whole point is, when I get here, I want his blade out there so that even if he bends at the wrist, he's not going to be able to necessarily get it, right? I can just push him off a little bit there, okay? Now, going on the other side, let's switch that. Okay? So I'm going to be doing this one over here. This is where I do it. Now, here I reach up over, I step down. As this pushes over, now I'm going to just slice open like that, okay? I'm going to the other shoulder with the push, right? That way. Now, <clears throat> obviously, for this one, this beginning motion is not necessary, right? The, the, the better way to do it is just in like that, and then I can push like that. Now, the nice thing about that is, is it gives me this, it, it keeps his blade occupied, I've got my hand on his, on his, his hilt, 
right? It's right in front of his face, right? So if I just push in here like this, he is almost completely ignorant of everything that I'm doing <laughs> with, with my blade that way, okay? And that's really kind of what we're, what we're looking for, right? If they're quick steps, they're entering. So again, let's say, let's go from here, okay. right? Boom. Now notice, if he is rushing in, he gets even, even in further. And I could even do throws, depending on, um, if we do, we do something like that, yeah, good. Boom. Now, if I get in here like this, now, <laughs> he's just down like that, okay? It's just a matter of me stepping over that leg and getting it behind the other one, right? Okay. All of this is implicit in that simple little ending there, right? So again, okay, here we are. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. One more time. Okay. We'll go here. Right. Slow up. Notice here, he's even grabbing out for mine. That's great. I'm just going to pull him right across his body <laughs> and step here. Now I have all of this. Now with lightsabers, this is a great technique because you don't need that much to, 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 to win the point. It is, however, dangerous because you're getting in close. Okay? So you've got to make sure that when you're coming in, right, that is over there. Right? And then just place it against your, your, uh, your opponent. Um, with steel swords, there's other grabs and, and techniques that you can do because you can grab the blade so you're not as as helpless in there, but obviously we're not going to do that with these. Okay? All right, so another little uh, tip, hopefully clarifying a little bit of the uh, Dulan for uh, all you people working on it, making a little bit of sense out of it. Um, so practice hard, have a great day, Happy savoring.